Yo, what the fuck? It's up, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Snowman, and back here today with another troll video on the Xbox, and we are inside the Shadow Tower, Ultra Dark of the Moon, because right now we need to get our Lunar Souls so I can reroll that amazing gem that I got yesterday. If you guys have not seen that video, uh, I'll basically give it a you know quick rundown uh, after I figure out how to use my fucking inventory for Christ's sakes. I got this gem. Um, obviously, as you can see here, it has max health on it. So what we're gonna do is reroll the max health percent to critical damage, hopefully today, and then otherwise it's a perfect gem, which is extremely exciting, and it's not the same name as the other gem I have, which that happens a lot actually, and I can't use the same fucking gem, and it gives me aids because I have two perfect gems, can't put them on the same character, and it just makes me want to fucking shoot myself in the dick. So, actually before we even start this, um, oh, well, well, looks like I'll fuck myself. I was going to change my ally because, uh, if you guys don't know, the Starlight Dragon ally, it does, like, the same effects as the, uh, Chronomancer Cubesley, but it also makes enemies fly around the map, and it sucks, especially when you have a tank, because, um, the enemies actually don't stay where the tank is, and they fucking fly away from the tank, and it's extremely annoying, and it's probably aggravating for the tank as well, because he has to keep running around and gathering them all together. But we're inside the Shadow Tower right now, so we're getting that shit done. Um, I did not do Dreadnought yet. I don't really see a purpose to doing the Dreadnought this week because, one, I don't need Titan Souls for anything, two, it's just, I don't want, really feel like finding a team for it, and three, there's not really, there's just there's no fucking point to even do it. It's a giant pain in my ass, honestly. It's a lot easier than when they first added it into the game. When they first added it, that shit was literally fucking impossible. Why are you taking someone to kill this thing? Um, rest in peace here. Uh, when they first added it into the game, I literally couldn't kill it for the life of me, and we needed a tank, and then the tank kept dying. It was just a giant pain in the ass. I fucking hate these things. So much. Like, what a fucking annoying design. We're gonna have to switch over to the Shadow Hunter in a second because I'm already out of flasks and we're only halfway through the goddamn floor. So I don't know what the fuck's going on. Those spinny guys really messed us all up because I don't think. I don't know what the fuck we were even doing. I couldn't even shoot the things. None of my hits have been registering so far today, which I really want to know why. None of my hits are registering. Like, the whole time we were just fighting the last floor, not a single one of my fucking bullets have registered. And I was just like, okay, well, it looks like I'm pretty goddamn pointless for this and I'm gonna die somehow. If I'm not taking any damage, rest in peace. But as of right now, I'm going to slap on my uh, my Shadow Hunter just so I can get that range. And also, oh, there's a bunch of other Shadow Hunters as well in here. Oh well. But the good news is I have Valor's Vial too, so I can heal myself like right there. So I'm not going to die. That was fucking risky. So perfect timing on the flash there. But I guess for these floors, I should run Valor's Vial. But I die so fucking fast on my Chaos. Or not my Chaos Factor, what the fuck. I die so much faster on my uh, Gunslinger, so I can't even have a chance to even use a flask. So that's mainly why I used Death Defying, or else I'd obviously just use Valorous Vial, but... I mean, I could use Bandolier as well, if I really wanted to. And I, um, if you guys don't know what Bandolier does, it basically just has, like, I think 25, 26, maybe, flasks. Which is insane. And if you have the Knight's uh, subclass ability on as well, to get an extra 6 flasks, you'll just be fucking golden. You, you would just be golden. I honestly should put that on my mag damage character, you would think, right? I mean, it doesn't give me any stat boost, that's why this, I don't use it. But... In reality, I probably should put out my Gunslinger just so I have a bunch of extra flasks, which means I can keep spamming my Y, keep getting my ultimate back as quickly as possible, get that 250% magic damage, and we'd be lit, right? That'd be perfect. But that's in a perfect world. Sadly, we don't live in a perfect world, and uh, life is shit. But we're on the last floor here, then we're going into Daughter of the Moon. Very excited, and like I said before, I'm not really going to do Dreadnought, but um, the, the Daughter this week is just all drop-down floors, which is really cool, because uh, I really just... Uh, I really just don't fucking like running through all the floors. It's honestly a pain in the ass. Wow, we have a lot of Shadow Hunters in here. Alright, I think we got... What, we got three Gunslingers, three Shadow Hunters, and I think a Revenant, maybe? We'll try getting more DPS, probably. We need, like, one or two more people at the boss, and then we'll be all set. So that'd be exciting. But this shouldn't be too difficult here. So we should run through this floor right here. And then we're going to go right to the boss. Hopefully kill the boss in a reasonable time. Um, every time I kill the boss, it's kind of slow. Still forgot to take the ally off. Fuck me, dude. I'm really, I'm really blowing this shit. I really should uh, put that on in a second, but god damn it, dude. This ally is good against like all the main bosses, but when you're trying to kill little ads like this, it's a gigantic pain in my ass. Oh, we're gonna do this shit clutch. There we go. Chronomancer cubes. Where is it at? Oh shit! I don't know where it is. What? Why is my thing glitching out? Oh no. Okay, so it's somewhere like. Okay, it's not in my inventory anymore. It's right here. Chronomancer cubes. The same exact thing as the Starlight Dragon, but doesn't make enemies spawn out, and you know be absolutely fucking annoying so that's really fun hey don't worry i'm coming in here now the spinny slappy fuckers aren't spinning yet so we're going in hot here boys jesus christ never mind all right back right the fuck down we're getting our ass slapped somebody already died oh one of the gunslingers died or the shadow hunters i don't know but that is fucking bad because uh hopefully we have enough damage here to go through these floors go i don't understand what the fuck see none of my hits are registering i don't game please game please right here 
Come on. Hey. Oh, I used my ultimate ability and nothing worked. What the fuck? The lighting is all messed up. This is the glitchiest Shadow Tower run I've ever fucking done in my life. Look at this. Like, what the fuck's going on here? Come on, Tryon. You're giving me the shaft. I can't even fucking help. It must just be Shadow Tower. This is busy balls lagging too. What the fuck? I'm not even hitting anything. Look at this. What is this? I can't attack you. What are you supposed to do if you can't attack the fucking enemy? Like... It's glowing red like I'm hitting it, but I'm not doing any damage to it. I don't understand. Like, what the fuck, dude? This is so shitty. Like, can I just please fucking do this? Like, there we go. Now it's not lagging as much, but holy fuck. All right. See, now, all the, now, see how the Revenant has, like, all the allies now? Or all the ads, and I'm not blowing them away? That was, I was blowing them away because I had that fucking ally on, so it's absolute cancer. But the good news is I have my ultimate back up again because I keep getting all my flasks blown away. So I'm going to have to switch back to my Shadow Hunter in just a second. Jesus Christ, I'm really going to have to switch my Shadow Hunter in a second. Because I'm getting my ass fucked. Welcome to Trove, where uh, you go inside a Shadow Tower to be badass and stuff like that and get rewards. And this is all you do. You just sit here and shoot one enemy that has mass amounts of health. 9% of the time, you lag your balls off and can't do damage to them. But there we go. Your boy Snowman and friends got past the third floor. Time to go to the boss wave. Get the fucking stuff that we need. I'm pretty sure I have tons of Bonnie Darkness, so I don't really need to go out and farm that or actually get gem booster boxes to get that. So I should have plenty of that. But now we got the moment of truth. We got Daughter of the Moon. Team's alright. Got a decent amount of DPS here. But if lag comes up clutch again and fucks us all, then we're all going to waste our pots, not have anything. But 90% of this boss fight will be on my Gunslinger, pretty sure. And then towards the end, depending on how much damage we have, I'm actually going to switch to my Guns... Or not my Gunslinger, my Shadow Hunter. And then I'll finish it off with my Shadow Hunter. So that's technically what I plan on doing. It should work out pretty well. I usually, I typically don't die, except when I forget when the uh, daughter puts her gun up on the fucking shelf up here on the staircase. And I get absolutely annihilated by it. And it, you know, blows to like 10, 10 or 11 flasks. So that's always fun. Alright, so this is daughter here. We got decent damage. I started off, I'm just basically jumping over her head because we don't really have a tank. We don't have a gunslinger tank. So we don't really have anyone to soak up all the damage. So if she does hit you, she's going to hit you multiple times. And if that happens, you can just say goodbye to all of your fucking flasks. But the good news is, I still have seven flasks left over, so I'm going to keep spamming the boss. And, well, call that fucking six flasks. About to be five. Jesus Christ. But basically, my idea here is to just keep spamming the boss as much as I can. And then when I'm out of flasks, like I said before, I will be switching over to the Shadow Hunter. One, for the awesome range. Two, for kind of the tanky ability. If I do get hit. And three, I have Alaris Vile on that. And it's going to be good shit because, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I do... I want to say like 300,000 damage a second with it, which isn't really that much, but it's still decent because I just hold on the trigger and not even pay attention to the game. That's one of the coolest things about it as well. But I could probably switch to the Shadow Hunter right now and just kind of stay afloat, which is kind of what I might do. Oh, I'm not too sure. Get the last little bit of damage out that I can right now on this character. Oh, God, I'm burping. For fuck's sakes, bud. All right, Shadow Hunter. Okay, so now uh, I'm still three players, so I don't get damage buff. We're doing 36,000, so 36,000 times 12, because I think you shoot 12 arrows out in a second. So whatever the fuck that much is, that's how much damage I'm doing per second, which can be very helpful here. Uh, the bad news is it's only half health, and I already have, um, you know, like all of my, uh, you know. Bad news is it only has half health, and I have no flasks, so that's fucking horrible. But the good news is I do have Chronomancer, or not the Chronomancer on, I do have the, uh, whoo, fuck. The one emblem on that makes it so your uh, ship comes back, the Chronomancer emblem, something like that, Chronomatic emblem. So uh, that's always fun. I have to invite Gyocidal back. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't butcher that shit. But, uh... So since I got that on, what I can do is get my ultimate ability back faster. So we're going to do pop a flask, use our ultimate, and we do 1.2 million damage, I'm pretty sure. Which is fucking insane. That's like insane amounts of damage. Um, if everyone was a Shadow Hunter in here and hit at the same exact time, I wonder if he would actually die. Like, not immediately, but if I, everyone kept spamming it. Holy fuck, these discs! Alright, bud. Uh, now if they hit me, odds are I'm going to fucking die literally immediately so that's what i'm not hoping for i think the guns on the ground oh the guns up on the shelf so we can actually come down here now so i don't know why i call it a shelf it's clearly a staircase but the gun the guns up there so i don't gotta worry about that shit all you have to worry about is just these beams coming out um knives in the town i do this i survive it but sometimes i do fucking die and it makes me want to die in real life because they're kind of easy to avoid but sometimes you just get caught off guard and not pay attention and you run right into them which happens to me most of the time there we go use our flask again hit that shit Beautiful, and we should just be good now just standing down, just standing right here and shooting because uh, I'm pretty sure that everyone else is just getting the aggro. Like this guy over here just get full aggro, so I can't really complain on that one. All right, so we got a couple flasks now, so what I'm going to do is use this, use my ultimate ability and hit the daughter, and then now we can just kind of keep spamming our flasks. We can do 92,000 damage per shot, or 91,000 damage per shot, 
which is pretty fucking insane. The damage numbers will be stacking up at that point. So here we go. It's going to keep laying right into where we should be able to kill this thing very soon. Sadly, someone died, so we can't get a flawless. And I think I also died early on because the, I was literally getting teleported to the fucking enemies. It was absolute AIDS. And there's like, he had a sliver health left. The big gorilla guy had a sliver of health left. And I literally died from it. So that fucking sucked. But other people died as well. So it wasn't the first one. So it wasn't my fault that we didn't get the flawless. But you know what? We're killing daughter right now. Please to RNG Jesus. You worked with me yesterday. If we can easily get a nice reroll stat today, I'll be extremely happy. All right, so we got six Lunar Souls. Honestly, last week I was like, what do I do with these? I had nine of them. I didn't know what the fuck to do with them, so I just got a bunch of Empowered Gem Boxes. And as you can bet, I got a bunch of aids out of those as well. I could have got anything in here just for Mastery, which I probably should have. I will be getting up to 400 Mastery very shortly. Um, with the Spoiled Divinity, I have missed one or two weeks on this, so I'm not going to get the Dragon as soon as possible, sadly. When I do end up getting the 400 Mastery, that will be in a different video. If you guys don't know, you get new wings. I personally kind of like the wings I have right now, though. It matches the Seedrill pretty good, and I don't really see a reason to change. But I guess there's new wings, so I might as well go get them. And I'm pretty sure... I don't know what the 1,000 Mastery wings look like, if they're different. But I know at like 450 or 500, maybe even higher, you actually get like a full set of wings I have right here, but in blue or teal, whatever color it is. So it looks pretty cool. So I'll get that eventually, but I have to, you know, start going pay to win again and actually start putting money into the game. Put a lot more hours into the game and we can get most of the costumes. I know for a fact I can get most of the costumes because I have a decent amount of flux on me. I can get flux pretty easily. I just gotta grind the materials it actually takes to make the costumes. So I might do that because I'm pretty sure some costumes give you 75 to 110 mastery, which is just fucking absolutely ridiculous. So... Between Mastery, Wings, and some of the premium mounts that uh, give you 100 Mastery, I think I can definitely hit 400 within the week, But so definitely stay tuned for that. The Trill videos will be back up to the daily uploading schedule. I have stopped playing Warframe for a little bit because I don't really enjoy the game that much anymore because I have Trove with a new update and stuff like that, and I also have um, you know Call of Duty that I have to play as well, so I don't really have time for Warframe. It just kind of feels rushed me hopping on the game and just pushing out a video, so that's why if you guys haven't seen any Warframe content, that's mainly why. Um, I still love the game. I will be playing it eventually, but as it stands right now with uh you know world war ii and how it stands with trove i kind of just want to play those two those two games and focus on those instead and then i'll go on warframe at a different time and you know i used to stream warframe i don't really find it i don't know i just don't feel like streaming it lately i i will be streaming trove and i will be streaming uh what is it call of duty soon so uh, definitely stay tuned for that and make sure uh, you're subscribed here on the channel so you know when the fuck i go live baby let's go all right so loot collector get rid of this shit real quick all right, so now what we have to do is go over here to the Adventure Crafting Bench, go down to Gems, and can we not craft this? I don't even have enough Binding Darkness out of these. Are you shitting on me? All right, so the good news is we're going to go to the store here, and we're going we're gonna to kind of cash out a little bit. Uh, I do have plenty of uh, Regenerators, so instead of spending real money here, real credits, I'm going to actually go through here now and just buy some of these with just normal Cubits, and hopefully I get um, what I need out of here, but odds are I'm not going to, and I'll be absolutely fucked. I haven't gotten a deal in quite some time now. I mean, I might as well just buy these. I need them anyway, dude. Fuck me. Pay to win life is uh is pretty lit. All right, so now I got 16 of these. Can we get anything good out of them? Didn't get any buying darkness yet. No buying darkness yet. Okay, we got just enough buying darkness to reroll at one time. This is gonna be shitty, and I'll probably end up spending even more money. So that's fucking beautiful. So uh, I'm probably gonna have to buy even more of those boxes. But as of right now, we can make at least one. I have plenty of eyes for it, but make at least one. Please, RN Jesus. If all shit goes downhill and I have to spend even more money on gem booster boxes, I'm going to cry. So what we're going to do here now is go over here to the gem forge. And we're going to go over here and toss this gem into the gem forge. Select max health. And we got to go over here to reroll stat. Max health will be rerolled. And let's see what we get. Fuck. Fuck. All right. So now we got to go pay to win even more, boys. Let's go. All right. Now, the chances of me actually getting something good are very slim here, and I don't really know what else to spend my credits on, so I might as well just cash the fuck out on these, because I don't really see why not, and if it fails anyways, I'm going to buy even more, to end up getting even more Buying the Darkness, and I don't feel like grinding them right now, because I'm trying to record this video and get it out there for you guys, so we'll see what we got. Alright, and two Buying Darkness, I'll take that. One Empowered Gem Box. I got five before, but not re not recently. Okay, so now we have enough Buying Darkness to actually go through and get this shit. Another Empowered Gem Box, alright. Alright, so now we should have enough buying darkness. I'll be extremely happy if we do. And then we re-roll re this again, and please do not go into max health percent. I didn't even craft it yet. If it goes into max health percent, I'll literally fucking cut my hands off, okay? I don't want to touch this game anymore. The RNG has been with me so far, okay? Two more stellar and power jump boxes as well. Video's full of content for you guys. Rest in peace. This one's gonna be a fucking banger. Okay, so we can make just one more. Just one more. Now, next week, I need my Lunar Souls again, and I need even more buying darkness, which I'll have to end up grinding, because I'm not gonna spend more money. More money on that dumb shit. Okay. Wrong thing again. Gem Forge. Please, RNGesus. Do not fuck me. We're just going right into this. We're not waiting. 
We're not waiting. Fuck! Well, boys, uh, it appears so that the game has sucked up my money. It appears so that uh, RNG wasn't really on our side here. So now we gotta wait six days. Well, when this video goes up, five days to actually uh, actually re-roll this again. So, uh, no, we can't put this on the Gunslinger this week, which is very depressing. But, I will just fuck myself. I was not expecting RNG anyways to come over and help me out. Gave me a perfect gem the other day, and I got shafted. But, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button down below, because it helps me out a lot. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more daily trove content like this. Hope you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video, and stay frosty, everybody.